Hey guys, it's Skittles, and I am back to play the Stanley Parable. Now, I did one video of it, and I know that this game has so many different endings to this game. And look at that, look, look at it on the computer. It's like, <sighs> but let's just play. Oh. This okay. is the story of a man named Stanley. I don't... I'm gonna skip because, you know... This is not the first time that I've played. This is like the second time I've played this game so far. But yeah, I am Stanley. I have the most boring ass job ever, which I have no idea why Stanley stayed at. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. ever got the chance to like work somewhere like this I think I would not it, it, it's just you know when Stanley came to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left all right let's just do what he says yet there was not a single person here either Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go really up to his boss's office, time. hoping Don't he might that. find an answer there. Oh, yeah, I know. I went in there, remember? I went into there. All right. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. It's like very bright out, Jesus. Last time I went downstairs, let me. Hang on. Ooh. Executive bathroom. God damn. What? I'm not allowed to go in there. <laughs> Let's see how it is. Wait. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Jesus. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Wait a minute. Shocked, unraveled, this Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated oh. this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an Two, extra eight, four, secret pin number. Yeah. Two, eight. eight, four, five. But, but yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Yeah, he stepped scary. into the newly opened passageway. Alright, let's see. This game, like, it's like, there's so many possible decisions that you can make. So, right now, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do what he says for this, uh, playthrough. And if I have enough time, maybe I'll do a second part where I go through all the way, but then I change directions. <sighs> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This know, question would saying. not go unanswered for long. Stanley has something going on. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. It said escape. Although this somewhere. passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? Is it too... Um, oh, just go. Just go. Can I the run? door behind I him was run. not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yeah. Do I, do I just go? Okay. Oh! You don't think I would have broken my legs? As the machine whirred into motion, a 
when Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Look at that. I can Trapped crouch. Forever in his narrow vision Will that even help me? Is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Just... Farewell, Stanley. Like that. Will it, will it just go? Away? Oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? So I, am I like in heaven now or what? Heaven, you know? Button sounds. Someone was playing cards, they weren't even doing their job. What? The game is now paused. Begin the game. Oh. Alright. So, just go to the exit then? Apparently. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Should I? Or should I? Just, I'm just gonna. I'm sorry. Don't choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. <laughs> well, I kind of let. Yeah. So what now? Wait. All right. Okay. So. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Enough time for another one. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right. So then this time I'm actually not gonna follow his um his uh, directions. I'm going to. Wait a minute. This looks different. Does it? I've never... When anyway. Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yep. Ah, to yes, truly a room worth admiring. Room, it had really been worth colors. the detour after all. Just but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. All right, in my Look, Stanley, first video, I think perhaps I we've gotten off, off on the, the wrong foot here. There, so I'm not I'm your stay. enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, can I, can but I the I fact fall? is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Who's her? This is it, Stanley. 
Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who? Is your... That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> no, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No. <laughs> It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. What? Not it's a good thing I did not pick up the phone. It's actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe what? it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're what? a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. What? Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. What the heck? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. So, where am I going?
Am I going back to my office or what? What? I don't. I don't understand. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Do both of them open? Dude, I'm sorry. No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I can't then. Oh, dear. What is going on? Okay, fine. So I guess I have to go this way. I have no idea of choice. Um. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly fire destroy paper, all guy. of my work? Fire I don't know. Fire the paper. What's the answer? What? what do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No! I oh. have to. thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. Sorry. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a Calm damn down. good reason for it. Calm down. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you yeah, You're a child. child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> fine, when I'll go Stanley to the came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hi. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked I upstairs can't. to his boss's so office. I have to go up here. I can't go downstairs anymore. <gasps> it's gone. It used to be the executive's bathroom. Oh! This is different. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. 
but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the yeah, receiver I'm looking at it, but right I can't. there on the wall. Hello. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. I can't this get is a in crucial here. Okay, step. I can't speak, apparently. I think maybe, yeah. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Oh, um. <laughs> this game is so awesome. What the hell? Head. Um, he's not moving. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. The I, end. I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk you through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It can't like exist without you. Do you okay. understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait, wait for you what to do decide I look like? what's the right thing to do. What the heck? Take as much time Weird. as you need. Um. <laughs> oh my god. This game, so... What the hell? What is different? There's paper... Okay. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna pause it right here. Alright. I don't know if I want... If I should keep going. Like, if I should just make this, like, two different episodes. But I think I will. Alright. So, if you guys like the video, uh, click the like button down below. And comment, subscribe, please, you know. You know, I just saw that I hit 62 subscribers. I didn't, I was about to make a video about hitting like 60, but then <laughs> it went over. So thank you guys so much for 62 subscribers. Like, oh, I'm growing. We're growing, guys. We're growing. We're still growing. So as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.